Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, peace, blessings, light, mercy, and God's divine favor be with you and with myself, with our entire community. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Ihsan, another Ramadan reminder. And today's reminder is to focus, to continue to focus. One of the great gifts of Ramadan is that it brings us into crystal clear focus why we are here, what we are doing with our lives. It helps us remember who we are and who our Lord is. It puts us into focus. Now the key is to remain focused throughout this month and beyond. The life of the believer, the way of the believer, is a path of focus. It's a life of focus, continual focus. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has required us to pray five times daily, to continually focus, to continually refocus, because the nature of the world of dunya is such that it will naturally pull us into ghafla, into heedlessness, into unconsciousness. And so we must constantly, intentionally and consciously engage in remembrance, in focus. Now our focus, your focus determines your reality. Your focus determines your reality, it determines the reality that you will experience and it collapses the infinite myriad of possibilities into what you focus on, what you believe in. We live in a world and in a universe of infinite possibilities and this is from the greatness of Allah. Literally anything is possible with belief and with faith. We can look at the life of some of the great prophets of Allah and some of the great pious people throughout human history and see what they were able to accomplish, see what they were able to do. They who unlocked, who awakened, who unlimited human potential. And of course the greatest examples are the prophets and messengers of God. Perhaps most closely and most near to us and most exemplary, the last and final prophets of Allah Almighty, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and the Prophet Jesus Alayhi Salam. Their absolute faith, their absolute belief, their absolute focus on Allah enabled them to perform miracles. Not magic, but miracles. And miracles is a term that we use to describe events that we don't yet understand. Things that are scientific in nature, but that we don't have yet the knowledge and the wisdom, the understanding to make real for ourselves. If we've learned anything from quantum physics, it's that we live in a world, in a universe of infinite possibilities. What we focus on, what we believe is what manifests. And the world that we are experiencing is a composite of everybody's thoughts and beliefs. Does it have to be this way? It can be radically different, but it depends on what we choose. And this was the power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to humanity that was not given to any other creation. The power of choice, the power of responsibility. It is power. With power comes great responsibility. And we have the ultimate power, the power to choose, the power to create. This is the amana, the trust that Allah gave to his deputy, to his khalifa, the children of Adam, the human beings, al-insan. So we have a choice. And the way of the prophets and messengers of God was to help us to learn how to choose the best possible choice. The best possible choices, the best possible way of life. We can live any way we want. That's the power that Allah gave to humanity. Choose and live, choose and experience. But know that what you choose will have consequences. It will either take you towards your divine potential and towards greatness and towards honor, and towards light, towards love, towards beauty, towards eternity, or it will take you in the other direction, towards suffering, towards collapse, towards failure towards chaos. What do we choose? How do we choose? We follow in the footsteps of the prophets and messengers of God. They were guided, they were blessed to make the best possible choice, to live the best possible lives towards the best possible outcomes. Again, you can choose and live any way you like, but if you are wise, if we are intelligent, and if we are humble, we will, do, we will choose to live as did our Prophet Sallallahu But that takes faith, that takes belief, that takes Iman. So beloved brothers and sisters, just a simple gentle reminder to choose to focus, to focus on goodness, to focus on light, to focus on the love and the worship of our Creator and the way of our Prophet It is the best, the clearest, the cleanest, the purest, the most noble and most illuminated of all paths, of all possibilities. It leads to the awakening of human potential. It leads to your true identity. It leads to your true purpose. It leads to your Creator. Your focus determines your reality. If we focus only on this world, this is all we will know, this is what we will be attached to, and it will cause us suffering. And if we focus on Akhirah, on eternity, on Allah, on the Messenger of on worship, it will lead to true and eternal life. 
It will lead to peace. It will lead to happiness. It will lead to success both in this life and the next. Just a gentle reminder, let us take the lessons of this Holy Ramadan and not lose focus once this month is over, but to continue to support our focus, to continue to stay focused, to continue to worship, to fast, to pray, to make dhikr, to keep good company, to attend to prayers in the mosque, to learning the religion, to developing our relationship and our knowledge with and of the Qur'an, to persisting and persevering in good works, to restructuring, reorganizing our lives, around the worship of Allah. That is the way of the believer. That is the meaning of the religion. That is the fifth pillar of Islam, Hajj, which is basically a physical manifestation of a life centered around the worship of God. May Allah Almighty guide us to wisdom, to clarity, to goodness, to light, to life, life eternal, to beauty and to truth, to your divine and eternal success. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.